Greetings, friends. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to produce another video, and uh, I'd like to, in this uh, video, talk about the historic geometric theorem that I revealed uh, over six weeks ago, I think. So there have been several uh, questions about this, and I'm going to cover them shortly. Uh, to explain how the theorem works and and how to understand why you don't actually get to choose uh, what f of f prime of x is or the difference in slopes. So let's begin. Now you remember that. Uh, so some time ago I showed you this particular formula, and it turns out that. Uh, it's circular because C contains a reference to S, right? And, well, the truth is that you cannot actually uh, find any of this information algebraically. Remember, you've got the geometry, and you need to determine from the geometry how to arrive at the geometric theorem, which states that the slope, this here, which is a slope of the red secant line, is equal to the slope of the green uh, tangent line plus the difference, okay? So the difference is just this slope minus the slope, the absolute value, or in this case here, yeah, just plus Q of XH, which can be negative or positive. So as I said, in this particular uh, uh, formula, which is one of many that you can find, um, it's not possible to actually express the derivative just on the information of x and the function, okay? h doesn't really count. But it does turn out that we can identify the terms that are part of the derivative and part of the difference between the two slopes. And so, <clears throat> and so uh, I showed you how to do this in the main article, but it's a little that's a little more difficult proof. It has a lot of a lot of trigonometry in it. So I've got a very simple proof now that I want to show you, and it's uh, this. This is the easy proof over here. Okay, so we can prove that this here is true as follows. We can say let t x be the equation of the tangent line, which we don't yet know. Okay, so we don't know this derivative, um, this uh, tangent line equation. Then we can say that t x plus h minus t of x over h is going to be the slope of the tangent line. In other words, the derivative. And this means that f prime of x contains no terms in h because tx, this tx is a straight line, and we know that h is a factor of every term in this numerator, okay? h is a factor of tx plus h minus tx. In fact, it doesn't matter what function you put here. h will always be a factor of this difference, okay? So now, we also know that f1 over h, which is uh, uh, the terms of q of xh, the difference, can be found in this way here. And it implies, through this uh, little proof here, that the terms of the difference must contain h. So that's how we identify the difference. And the terms of the derivative must not contain h. And that's how we find the derivative. So it's fairly easy to do, okay? Very easy. Now, how does this prove that your mainstream definition of calculus is flawed? Well, very simple. This is your mainstream definition here. It's actually equivalent to f prime of x uh, equal to f prime of x plus this limit. Now, this requires that this here is equal to zero, which is possible if and only if h is equal to zero. Do you understand that? This, this non-parallel secant line that Newton used in his experiments will ensure that this difference in slopes is never zero. Because uh, if, you, if you, for example, look at the secant line, it's not even defined at the point of tangency, okay? So there's no way that you can have h is equal to zero, which means that q of xh is always greater than zero. 
So this is the very thing that mainstream academics want to avoid and claim that they are avoiding, falsely, of course. So therefore, the mainstream calculus is flawed. Now, the other article I wrote uh, explains how you can use this powerful theorem, okay, that I revealed to you, this theorem here, this uh, quotient is equal to f prime of x plus q of xh to fix both your derivative definition and your integral definition. That means you no longer use uh, ill-formed concepts such as infinity, infinitesimals, or the rot of limit theory, which has many problems with it. So, and the very first one is that there is no such thing as a real number. Okay, because a number describes the measure of a magnitude. So that's pretty much for uh, pretty much it for this video. I'm going to upload it to BitChute and to YouTube. Please subscribe to my BitChute channel. There are currently too few subscribers for me to carry on uploading videos there. And those of you who are my YouTube subscribers. I ask you to switch over to BitChute because YouTube has a policy that allows it to remove videos and take them down for their own whimsical purposes. And I don't agree with that. So uh, there, oh, I wanted to show you one last thing before I sign off here. In this forum here, you have people like this guy from Sweden who supposedly has a master's degree. And I've explained to him several times that he cannot choose f prime of x and q of h, uh, q of x h, which is the difference. He seems to think that there are many possibilities for this, possibilities for this, but there aren't. If that were true, then the mainstream derivative would be problematic too, because if you look at your mainstream derivative, there'd be many possibilities for this uh, particular function here too. But that's not true, as we know. We know it produces the derivative plus the difference, which is the expression of terms in H. Okay, so the idiot doesn't seem to understand this. And he, he, he thought he had produced a counter example by giving me this here. But first of all, there's no way to obtain sine x plus 2x plus h minus sine x from f of x uh, squared. You, you can obtain 2x plus h, which is, by the way, the same as this whole expression, because adding a sine x and subtracting a sine x is the same as doing nothing. It's like adding zero. Okay, so this idiot believes that this here is a counterexample. It's not for the very reasons I've told you. Uh, first of all, you cannot obtain any sine x using this x squared function or the quadratic, and uh, you don't get to choose what the derivative is and what is the difference in this case h okay so and i gave him the proof here but this guy has been added together with another french idiot called jean pierre massager from france and both claim to be uh, mathematics lecturers but it's pretty evident that they don't understand it and now when somebody actually shows them that they're wrong for example in here they tear the guy apart. So there's this, this uh, David Petrie is one of the guys who has seen it. And he tells them, you know, uh, this, this theorem is correct, but, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you get all sorts of trolls and, and whatnot trying to tear down uh, my character, my reputation, uh, and libel me, which is a shame because really, um, now, and there are two other academics on here who are really vile. One's called uh, Jan Stuckelberger and the other one, uh, Bam Bakaris. And actually, there are several others who are all really dishonest, ignorant, and incompetent and stupid academics uh, because they refuse to uh, admit that this theorem is historic and that it proves that I and the first to solve the tangent line problem without any ill from concepts with 100% rigor. So that's really basically what I wanted to talk about. Now, I don't know when I'll 
be producing another video, but I'll put all the details of the articles and the applet that you just saw in the details section of each of the videos. And please remember to click like, remember to tell your friends about it, remember to uh, spread the news because there is a very powerful movement underway currently especially this guy here on Psy.Math, Math, Zealous Malum and others, who are trying to destroy everything that I've done, okay? Because there's nothing a mainstream academic hates more than to be, than to have his ignorance exposed and to be shown that he was wrong in his ideas and that he was fooled by his teachers and his lecturers. You can find me on LinkedIn. And I have a YouTube channel, and you can even email me if you have a question. But I cannot answer more than one question. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and I hope it won't be my last. So take care. Till next time. Goodbye.